It feels great. I mean, someone just said, oh, Coco's kids will come see it. And then I realized, oh, God, that's true. That means one day I'm not going to be here to see it. <laughs> um, anyway, it feels great. It's really nice to know I'm a part of Hollywood history. And they can expect the best one yet. It is so scary. If you like Ghostface or if you like to hate Ghostface, you're going to hate this one. Man, He, this is, it's intense. I, I couldn't, I mean, I don't watch them anyway. I close my eyes because they scare me, but I, I couldn't, I can't believe how much further it went. I didn't know they could top how many times you could stab somebody, but they did. This is really surreal because I'm from Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, the only time that you see your name on a sidewalk is if you did it yourself with a stick and the wet cement. <laughs> So uh, I'm still in the process of working on my longest and most important projects. Uh, thank you, John, for um, teaching me to be a better person. And thank you, Coco, for reminding me every day that I'm not. <laughs> um, no, seriously. <laughs> Coco, that means that I do a bad job. You're perfect. Um, no, seriously, Coco, it's not easy to grow up in this business, and I just, um, I just want you to know you shine, and you shine in your own unique light, and I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud to be your mom. And uh, John, E, some people call him that, um, Johnny, John, uh, you're such an amazing and talented person, and I'm, I'm so lucky to be with you. My mom would have loved this so much, but my dad was obsessed with television and... Wow! Sorry, Dad! Whoa! All right. Seriously. Um, anyway, my dad loves television, movies, and all entertainment. And um, early on in my career, there was a point where I had no money left at all. I was down to two weeks to live, to actually live. Um, to support myself and um, I called my dad up and he's like Cece you need to come home It is a long fall from Hollywood to Alabama and you know what you're a salesman you're a damn good salesman So you need to come home and do what you do best sell swimming pools <laughs> um, Then the uh, next day I got the pardon family ties So this will make me cry because I do love my dad. I was just want to say I know he's really proud of me and um, it does look like I'm here to stay. We're very honored to be here today to speak on your behalf as your co-workers, your friends, and your, your family, your sisters. Um, yeah, and that's happened. It's, we've known you for a very long time. Yeah, no, that's it's been that way for since we met thirty, almost thirty years ago. No, not thirty years. That's a typo. No, it's not. <laughs> Are you sure? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, um, to be friends with Courtney is to be family with Courtney, um, and she is responsible for all of that from the beginning of when we met her, she was immediately inclusive, yeah. warm, loving, interested in everything about you. Yeah. And, you know, I was really nervous to meet her because I was a huge fan. I would see her, in, I remember seeing her at the Flowering Tree, a yogurt store that we would go to, oh. and I, I panicked, I sweat, and I just didn't know what she was going to be like when we, we got our job no, and we me got too. to meet her. Yeah, right? me too. Also so beautiful and famous. Yes, very because she was. Uh, no, because she was the only one of the cast who was famous. That's right. So I feel like we were all sort of like taking our cues from her yeah. at first to see you yes. know, what and the Courtney Cox show was going to be like. the star of Miss Smith of Science. <laughs> what else? You were the only famous you one. Were, okay. No, you were known. You were Courtney okay. Cox. And anyway, screaming at you now. My Thank goodness, you. can you step back? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And from, anyway, from the very beginning, she made it very clear that this was a true ensemble. Yeah. The Friendship Show. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. No, I remember the first rehearsals, and Courtney would say, um, listen, if you all see something couldn't be funnier, please say it, because, you know, y'all, we got to take care of each other. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. We do have to take care. And she instilled into all of us, yeah. in, into our DNA, uh, to support each other and to love one another, and that actors need to support and love one another, not right. compete with one another. Yep. And those wise, wise words have stayed with me, and I learned them as a you know young twenty-something-year-old actor, and that really set me on my path in in, in as a as a young woman and, and be able being able to have creative relationships that I cherish yeah. to this very day. Yeah, and I I have to say I really believe that it was that and Courtney doing that that really set us up to become one of the closest, most loving, and supportive casts in, I'll say, the history of television. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. See, I knew I was gonna, that was going to happen at some point. <laughs> I mean, she's just such a, a, really a good human, you know, and a, an extraordinary friend. Um, that's why this is such a beautiful day, that we get to all be here together as her friends, supporting her accomplishments, which is so well deserved. Yes. That's right. And Courtney, we just want to say that we're deeply, deeply proud to know you. Mm -hmm. You are the definition of a truly beautiful, talented and what's most important a truly good and decent human being yes and thank you i'm not even on the mic i'm just screaming <laughs> thanks and thank you for enriching our lives personally yeah and as fans we want to thank you for making us laugh watching you on screen and just in life in general you're one of the funniest human beings on the planet earth Nothing makes me happier than a Courtney joke. And always making us smile. And thank you for enriching our lives with your work. We are so proud of you. We love you. Your sister's from another mister. And we love you Aww. for 30 years. 30 years. It's a good thing. I am full of gratitude to have the privilege of being here today to witness my friend and now my sister, Courtney Cox, receive her deeply deserved star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> Courtney is truly the embodiment of a shining star. She has thrilled fans for decades with iconic characters that made her a household name and have woven her into the fabric of American culture. We all fell in love with those unforgettable blue eyes and indelible authenticity. Whether it was for many of us the first time we saw her in a Bruce Springsteen music video, or in Family Ties, or of course on Friends, we knew we had a new family member. Courtney isn't just an amazing actor with outrageously genius comedic timing, but she has the rarest trait as an actor and as a friend, someone who has to tell the truth. The truth comes through her in all her magnificent work. As we've seen and you've heard mentioned, from Friends to Dirt to Cougar Town to now Shining Veil, vale, Ace Ventura and Bedtime Stories, and of course, Scream. And if you're lucky enough to know her, you learn that she can't help herself. She has to be honest about who she is, about how she sees the world, and frankly, about what she sees in us. It's not always easy, <laughs> but she makes you better by knowing her, by working with her, and if you're really fortunate, because you get to love her. The gifts she has and continues to give me are myriad, whether it be looking in her eyes as an actor, having dinner with her as a friend, being directed by her as a guide, of course, raising amazing children alongside her, including getting to know and love her incredible Coco or as her beloved friend, Sasha Baron Cohen, who's here says, she is undoubtedly the most generous person any of us have ever known. She brings grace, radical humor, incredible bravery, and her best self to every moment. 
I've had a front row seat to all of this, which means I am incredibly blessed, aren't we all, for having our lives graced by the magic of Courtney Cox. And I could not be more thrilled to celebrate this girl from Mountain Brook, Alabama, for her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame.